All right, we open the door. And immediately we got trapped inside, it seems. Oh. Hmm. Well, looks like getting in here wasn't that bad of an idea. We got a, a capacitor. I heard a turret pop up. Oh. Well, there you have it. Oh, we're now back on, on this room. Well, we don't want to be here. We've already been here. This room does not matter to us. We do need to find other rooms, though. And explore them. Like this room. Oh, stop that. What's inside this room? Is there anything useful? We need to know. It does appear like there might be something useful. Oh. I don't care what the enemy is, it still is satisfying to stun them and blow their damn head off. Another Aiden portal. Get used to these things, they're pretty uh, common in this area. For a good reason, I imagine. This is the last level, after all. But you, I think I forgot to finish my sentence on this matter. You did notice that... Uh, during the intro cutscene, there was absolutely no mention for the energy totems. That's because uh, we don't have any more energy totems to rescue. That's it. We've got them all. And, like I said before, it makes a lot of sense not to have any energy totems in here, because this is Primogen's light ship. Why would he allow somebody build an energy totem which is built for the sole purpose of destroying him? He would have destroyed it a long time ago. Or at least made sure that his robotic goons did the job for him. Either way, we wouldn't have it here. At best, we, all we would have are erect remains of a bloody thing. So it makes sense not to have any more energy totems past this point. More ventilation. It's odd that they have auto turrets inside ventilation shafts, I, I have to say, because... Well, it's a pretty uncommon thing to have, I mean... Do we expect uh, Sam Fisher to come through here? If they do, well, he would be dead right at the beginning of the game, I would say, because he's just a squishy-ass human. Turok is something special. Well, we are here, and the auto map suggests that you really haven't been here yet. So, let us explore. All of these damn lasers making their noise. I wish that you could uh, regulate the sound effect properly, but... The sound effect mixing is horrid, so we don't really have the option here. Hmm. Well, if you have to backtrack, there is an easy way to backtrack. It's not an issue. And that takes care of that bastard. That probably leads us out of here. Let's check the other corridor first. Where is that turret? Oh, I suppose first we take care of this and then we take care of the other turret, which is right over there. Oh, coming here was actually decent. A decent of an idea. What's behind this door? Oh. I suppose we'll come back there later.
This probably isn't a good idea. <laughs> Shooting them from the back. There they are, armored. But uh, let's first check this place out. Leap of faith. Ooh! Right into the enemy. What does this do? Force field generator disabled. That's about it. But if I'm not mistaken, this might be the third or the fourth. So if that is the case, we're already missing quite a few, and the, the veterans are groaning at me like a bunch of bastards. Fuck. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We still have a guide to use. I will make good use of it, I swear. In fact, I'm loading it up right now as we move along. Because I know I'm probably gonna miss something, because it's not exactly easy to train on this level. That's closed. Well, doesn't this lead us to the assembly plant, actually? I believe it does. But to get inside, we need to actually open it up. So if you would excuse me for just a couple of seconds, I would open up the guide, which I forgot to mention before, but probably showed it as some sort of a subtitle or something. It is uh, written by Er Murta. He's a cool guy. Thank you for the guide. And speaking of which, I already have it up. I believe that switch is also timed, so make sure to move along. Well, it is. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You wanna let me out? Thank you. Fuck. Yeah, pretty much the sw all of the switches will be <laughs> timed, so you might as well just get used to it. If you don't know if a switch is timed, it's probably timed. That's my rule of thumb in this place. It's probably done that way to be more annoying to you. Luckily if a door starts closing up on you, not an issue. Because it will only stay locked up from one end. From the other end, it's not gonna be locked up, which is good. Oh look at that, he's trying to be invisible. Oops. Fried his electronics pretty nicely. Which capacitor was that? Was it the third or the fourth one already? Because I don't remember. I lost count. It's very easy to lose count on those bloody things. And I think this connects us back to... Wait, no, it doesn't. Oh, it's back to this place. To the power generator. Now, as you can see, this one is considerably more difficult to work with, because it has lasers in the water. And an elite trooper to be an asshole for you. So, naturally, it's pretty safe to assume that if there is something in the water, it's probably not worth your attention. Did I put in the right one? Yes, I did. The right capacitors will always glow in such a nice, shiny glow. You cannot make that jump, so don't even bother. Make jumps from platform to platform. However, as you can see, some platforms tend to be quite annoying in their timings. Their timing is very irregular, so you gotta make sure that you time it just right. And we only need one more, and we have it! Amazing! At this rate we have 3 out of 4 generators. All we're missing now is the last one, and we'll be good to go. Thank goodness. 
The generators are pretty easy to sort out, I gotta say. Hmm, do I want to go this way? I'm not convinced. Hmm, but I guess I have to. Because this doesn't really lead us to where I thought it would. Or maybe it does. Maybe it does. Let's have a look. Oh. Huh. We have been reconnected with some of the older places. Oh, we, we were sent back. That's what happened. And another door is wide open. Now we just have to discover our reference point once again. And start looking from there, see which door we haven't quite explored yet. That's a reference. We went through there. And there. And behind this is a staircase down to a locked door. Yep. Went through there. That means we got this to go through. Oh! Those lasers remind me of Zone Troopers from Command and Conquer games. And this is a, another different area of, this, uh, of the light ship, which looks even more interesting, even more sleek. I like how this light ship has distinct areas with their own distinct looks. Oh, I missed that. Ooh! That gotta hurt. But I think this area is where we will find the assembly plant and where we will also find that this area can be a bit more annoying to navigate than all the others. That I think is just a dead end. Yeah, it looks like a dead end, so don't worry about it. Oh! What shot? As you can see, some of the walls around here are actually full of biobots waiting to be unleashed. Some of them will be unleashed, because they might be working as guards of the light ship. Oh, this, this entire fucking lower body got torn apart. Damn. But yeah, some of the biobots will activate when you're pretty close to them. Others will remain dormant no matter what. The dormant ones cannot be destroyed, obviously. So don't worry about them. There are two switches here. Flip. Flip. And that opened a door. But did it open the doors that we would like to visit as well? Who shot me? Oh. Well, let's have a look. And the answer is no, it did not. We'll get to those doors later. I think we come out from those. Once we're done with this area. That sounds familiar. Yes, this is indeed the assembly plant, and that's one of the capacitors. Which means we have to get through this area and comb it pretty thoroughly. Make sure you're not missing anything. Remember, there are three components that must be destroyed in order to make sure this power plant is no longer worth the trouble. Uh, not the power plant, the assembly plant. You, uh, you need to make sure that all three components of it are rendered worthless. The first component is in this room. It's kinda easy to miss, so I'll show you. Oh, 
Alright, I believe this will now act as an elevator. No? Shit. Okay. My mistake. I thought it was about time for it to be an elevator, but uh, not yet. We opened up two of the leaf doors, so we gotta open up this one and go through the other one. That was the idea. But I did a fuck up, so we didn't get to do that. Here's a little elevator pad, get up there. Takes you up here, to the assembly plants. I think you can shoot these things. But if you flip the switches... Oh, never mind, that, that's what it does. Okay, well, I think it, if you hit them with the arrows, they'll actually bleed. Let's try. Okay, never mind. Well, I know there is a, a strange bug where something hit with an arrow will bleed, even though it shouldn't. I think it's one of the talisman chambers, actually. But yeah, the thing you're supposed to destroy here is this. Shoot it with whatever you want to. And there you have it. Oh, but make sure to check here. A warp portal switch. This pump effectively drained these tubes, making sure that the troopers inside of them are dead before we even get to be born. Which is good for us, bad for them. Make sure to pick up your capacitor before you leave for the next area. Which is further up, past this door. We walked through there, I think. No, we didn't. Well, then let's check it. And that's kind of what we are looking for. But is it the talisman chamber? It is. But we do not have the feather. And we need the grey feather for this. Well, let's just keep going. I'm pretty sure I missed out on a few things here and there, but... Let's just keep going, because I'm pretty sure I can get the rest of the assembly plant parts before we're forced to double check on the on the guide and see if they're really missing anything. Oi. Which I'm pretty sure we are. I mean I missed a few things before. Would you stop doing that? What an annoying biobot, seriously. I can see why people hate those things. And this is where they are assembled. But yeah, like I said, once we're done with the assembly plants, we're gonna double check on the guide, see if we're missing anything, which we most likely are, and make sure to backtrack and show everything that we missed in proper order. First, let's check here. Alright, that'll be our exit. Let's keep that half marked for now. Stop shuffling and die. That I believe is a master computer of this place. If you blow up a computer, It'll render this area quite useless. And look at that, we found the Grey Eagle Feather. Let's get out of here before we lose our goddamn mind. Because it's screeching with all of that electricity going haywire. And it's not a very pleasant noise. What's this? Oh. There are some laser cells around here that you can pick up. But what for? Well, there is a good reason to pick them up. I just don't know if you actually get to make use of them right here. Oh my god.